And I'm like, oh my goodness, I got a Bible. First time I opened the Bible, I'm like, what is going on? And I said, I'm knowing I'm encountering Jesus. How does one go from a millionaire drug dealer to a devout Christian and pastor? If that doesn't seem to make a lot of sense, it's because it doesn't. But yet, this really happened to Aaron a few years ago. So I sat down with him to get the full story of his miraculous transformation. So yeah, so one day we 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 about to be in a club. Me, a lot of my homeboys, uh, we in D.C. Uh, this one little boosie first come home, and I'm just like being in a club, and I'm like yeah, and I, for some reason I just couldn't drink. I'm like, I, don't, I don't know why I can't drink. I ain't want to smoke. I ain't, you know. We all the way out of D.C. I live in Baltimore. I'm like, man, I just, just didn't even feel like I wanted to be there. Usually I'm the life of the party. Like, yeah, turn up. Let's go. Let's go. This day I just didn't feel like it. And we had these these chains on that, you know, for, for our, like, our team. We had like our own chains and stuff like that. So we, I took my chain off and put it around my homeboy neck. He had like a like $200,000 worth of jewelry on. I said, here, take this chain, put it around your neck. I'll see you tomorrow, bro. I'm going home. And I, you know, went home and then I um, was driving home. Like, man, something like felt like it left me when I took that chain off. But I ain't really, really, really paid too much attention to it until later. But I did feel like different, a difference. Like I didn't like belong there. So when I go home, I sit in my living room and, and my wife come out like, same old thing, five o'clock in the morning. That's all you want to do. All you want to do, you, got, you know what I mean? You think you can do what you want. I'm like, girl, whatever, girl. Like, you ain't going to find like me. Never find nobody like me. I was so prideful, so arrogant. Like I felt like I was just that dude, regardless. But just sitting there, and I just felt this overwhelming love sensation just come all over me. And I was like, "What in the world? Like, yo, my goodness, this is crazy. What's going on? Like, I don't even know what's going on. But everything in me know it's the Lord. But I still like kind of like trying to figure what's going on out. So I grabbed my phone and tried to Google what was going on with me. <laughs> and when I tried to Google what was going on with me, uh, a pastor was on there. And a lot of people, I never really tell this part of the story because I don't know, I just don't. But you get it. It was actually Joe Osteen. He talked about the goodness of God. And I'm like, oh, that's what I'm going through right now. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I got a Bible. First time I opened the Bible, I'm like, what is going on? And I said, I'm knowing I'm encountering Jesus. Next thing you know, 10 hours go past, 15 hours go past. I go to sleep, wake up, back on my knees, I'm back in the Bible. Like, what? The, I'm not understanding stuff. And every day, every day, I'm walking around with earphones on, listening to worship music, reading the Bible. I don't even know what's going on. I couldn't even go back outside. I forget what time it was, what day it is. I'm just like consumed with the presence of the Lord. And I think, you know, I didn't even realize I didn't cuss no more. I, I, I start throwing away everything in the house that was filthy. And my wife ain't know what was going on with me because I didn't know how to tell her what was going on with me. I didn't know I wasn't going to ever go back. I just knew that what I was, what I was experiencing right now at this moment, I felt more cleaner than I ever felt in my life. And next thing you know, I started talking to people. And I, when I talked to people, they would start crying. I would just go around people and walk in places. And certain people just start just getting emotional because of the presence of the Lord was just on me. I was with them 15, 20 hours a day. I was only sleeping like four hours, maybe five hours. But I was in you know, I learned how to pray. I didn't like learn how to go to church on a Sunday or learn how to attend a Bible study. I learned a life. I learned the life of Christ, intimacy with the Holy Spirit off the break. It was things that I was seeing in scripture later on that I was already doing because I was with him every day. I didn't even, I was already living out scripture because I, I was with him every day, all day. And it became so um, convicting to so many people around me. They was like, yo, I ain't never seen nothing like that. And how did you get there? Um, you know, sometimes people, you know, take the slow walk to get there. But for me, it was just like a straight torch. Yeah, it was immediate from from one day to the other. And what did your wife think? Because your wife knew you as this totally different person. And now the next day, you you don't do any of the things you used to do. <laughs> There's also the money side of it that you weren't too, like you got uh, away from that. So what did your wife think about your change? Yeah, well, and it was so crazy about that because around that time, you know, me getting shot and then I was just taking losses in the street. So my money wasn't as strong as it could have, like it, like it, like it used to be. So it was like, you know, we were still good, but we wasn't nowhere where we used to be. So the finances was just a little weird. But my wife, uh, when I told her, uh, about, you know, what was going on with me, she was like, whatever, you just trying to get good time for, you know, being out all the time and all that she was doing. I was like, nah, baby, I, I really think I know Jesus. I'm not like, I know I know Jesus. 
And she was, you know, she was a practicing Jehovah Witness at this time with her family. You know what I mean? And I, you know, I'm like, they don't, from what I know, they don't ever experience what I'm talking about. So for her, it was just like, whatever, you ain't about to convert me. You ain't about to get me caught up in your stuff that you're going through. But what happened was she would wake up, she would see me crying out 4 30 in the morning every night. Then she would just see people calling my phone and she would see people calling me and all these people calling me to get prayer. And I, I met in the street or I met through somebody else and I was becoming like people people go to when they wanted to talk about talk to Jesus or talk, or get understanding about the Bible. And she would see me down with all these books in front of me and she would see me praying and things happening and, and and I was trying to preach to her, and then the, God, and then the Lord said, don't preach to her. You already preach. And I was like, oh. And he was like, she she got a front row seat. And things that she would want to do, I didn't want to do no more. Things that people in the world would say that's not bad and it's kind of cool, it just wasn't interesting to me no more. All I wanted to do was just be with Jesus, even though it was a football game. I was like, ah, no. Let me just be home with the Lord. Like, I didn't really want to do nothing. I just wanted to be in the presence of the Lord. I didn't watch TV no more. So we would watch TV together. I didn't watch nothing secular, nothing. So it was like the health fellowship became a strange. So she knew that this is something really had. I can't even watch a movie with this guy. That guy cussing and that guy killing and he ain't even watching nothing. Now, the music that I used to play in the house, none of it was going on. I'm just like, when people come around me, all they just see is just the glory. All they just see is like his life. And um, so it was challenging for her for a minute, but like I walked out Christ for two years and one day she just told her mother, like, like you know, mom, like, I'm serious. I never, I, I live with this man. I never seen nobody consistently manifest just life of Christ for real. Never seen nothing like this in my life. You know, her mother told her, well, won't you go see what's going on in this church? She was just trying to be funny. And she came to the church and she just enjoyed the service. But she was more so being able to see it and not just the service, but see the service every day in my life. And um, one day she just repented and she just started following me as I follow Christ. And now she asked me to pass the pastor with me this day, like, on fire, man. Powerful woman of God, man. Like, crazy, 